hey guys, sorry, got to keep it quiet a little bit. Um, so <laughs> I want you to meet FM, right? But it's Tony Bennett again. Hello, fan. How you doing? Thank you for being a fan and liking my pages, supporting my dream and career. May God continue to bless you. I said, I'm sorry, who is this? Who is FM? It's because it's my fan page. This account is timed and it could go off any time soon. I created it mainly to acknowledge my fans and know what they think about me. But I decide to keep close friends to whom I desire. <laughs> Was it and who are you? Tony Bennett? Tony Bennett, he agrees. I said, the Tony Bennett who died a couple of months ago? It's a miracle. Laughing emojis. Muppet. <laughs> so he comes back. It's nice to hear back from you, fan. I was scrolling on my fan page when I came across your sensible profile. Your profile looks really nice and sensible, too. So I decided to add you here on my private page so we can communicate. Thanks for being a great fan to me. Love heart. And then he's gone and reread. I said, so you didn't read what I wrote. How nice. Read back what I wrote before you embarrass yourself more. And almost immediately he comes back with, Tony Bennett manager. <laughs> and I just sent laughing emojis. I said, crawl away now. He tried to call me, right? So he was going to try and say, you know, thinking that I was another scammer. Because only scammers call scammers out immediately. I said, why would I want to speak with you? You're pretending to be a dead singer, right? I said, go away. And then he saw that and he crawled away and I reported the account. And I think it's gone. I'm not sure. On to the next. Now I want you to meet Audrey Zhang. Right. Hello, dear. You have such a profound impact on at Jimmy Barnes' official career with your comments, love and likes. He would like you to write to him personally. Thank you. My name is Audrey Zhang and I happened... To be his personal assistant, thanks for your support. Take note of the time, everyone. <laughs> it's 35 minutes past midnight, and this guy's meant to be an Australian singer. I said, hi there, any reason you're messaging at midnight? I'm completely confused. He goes, can you read my message? And I went, I read your message, and I'm now, on, I'm now asking why you're messaging fans at midnight. Are you saying that Jimmy, an Australian singer in Australia, has you messaging his fans at midnight? That's hardly professional now, is it? And the, the person went away. And we have one more idiot. Meet Abigail William. William, the most um, popular surname. And this account photo looks incredibly familiar. I've got a weird feeling, and I'm not even joking. That that's my cousin from Canada. But anyway, so Abigail reaches out. Hello, dear. Thanks for your support and love for Michael Buble. We appreciate. My name is Abigail and I work with Michael Buble and I happened to be his online manager. He asked me to get in touch with you as he came across your profile in his notification box. He doesn't have the chance to chat with you directly. That's why you will go through to me to get to him. Hope that's clear. It will be nice to hear back from you as you get this message, so I know you take this seriously. Thanks for your time. Now I said, hi there. Please send proof of your affiliation with Michael, as I'm sure uh, you're aware that this platform is full of fakes. Once I'm satisfied that you are legitimate, I'll be happy to chat with Michael. Thanks. So she sends more of these ubiquitous fake little conversations where Buble is not even correct there. Hello, Abigail, hope you are good, said fake Michael Bublé. I'm stressed, been trying to figure out the platform that will suit those deals. <laughs> oh, you don't need to work that much because you have been overworking yourself lately. Need you to do me a favour. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> oh dear God, this is amateurish. I saw a lady I would love you to connect me to. Can't text her directly. You know the rules and it's implicating. <laughs> okay. Please, if you get in touch with her because I know her handle on, on Instagram, 
give her my private email. Here is her handle at Julia. And it's not, by the way, but okay. Wow, that's risky. And I pray we don't get caught because it's against your rules and I'll send her a message, boss. All right, thank you, dear. I will be looking forward to hearing from you. So I saw that. She goes, that's our conversation, so you can be sure about all this. He told me to get you connected to him by giving you his personal Google chat handle. I said, yikes, isn't Michael's English deteriorated? And why would Michael, a happily married man with kids, want to chat with female fans younger than him? Um, sorry, she says, totally confused now. He told me to get you connected to him due to your close resemblance with an old friend, old time friend, Wendy. <laughs> I said, ah, she died of cancer. But if you insist on asking too many questions, then I think I'm not in the position to answer. I said, yes, the friend that I look like who died of cancer. Wonder how I know that, huh? My job here is to connect you to him. She tries again. And I said, and he can't message because his account is handled by his management. And then when I speak with Michael, he'll tell me his wife is cheating or that I can get a VIP ticket to meet him. Yes, yes. Well, good luck with this one. Doubt you'll get far. Have a nice day over there. And I said, I'll keep the Photoshop messages, though, for my collection. So thanks. What do you mean? Now I see the reason why you all keep on getting connected to imposters because of ignorant <laughs> said our 100% fake management. Have a nice day. Bye. To which I sent lots of laughing emojis. She saw that 10 minutes ago. She's still active. If if she doesn't have a good day, she, she may try and come back, but I doubt she will. So that was just three stupid ones that I just honestly couldn't be bothered with this early in the morning. So bye.